There are a lot of different equipments in Final Fantasy 16, but in this video, I'm going to be going over the best mid game ones that you could get, which is the Drake Slayer equipment, the best end game one, which is the Ouroboros equipment and how to get yourselves a very special one, the Founder's Grasp. OK, so to start this off, you're going to need to be on main quest number 35, which says here be monsters. This is how we're going to be able to unlock Blacksmith Blues 1. So when you arrive at the hideaway, just go up these steps and then make a left. This is right by the hunting board area. And you're going to find August chilling out in the corner over here. Once talking to August, you'll then get the quest accepted and you're going to prioritize this quest. After that, make your way over to the blacksmith and go ahead and talk to Blackthorn. Blackthorn's going to talk to you about a leather. After that, then just go ahead and talk to Karen, who's going to tell you about the location where this specific merchant is going to be that you're going to have to find in order to get this leather then approach the hunt board which will show you what you have to do when you talk to the moogle you'll get a specific option to ask about the griffin sightings and the hunt board will then show it over here it'll be called the dosmare and it's going to be a rank b hunt 8500 gil and 20 renown points so to get to this location, you want to open up your map and go to Lost Wing. From Lost Wing, you want to really cut through Cutter's Gate and go down Lawbert's Pass. Keep going through that pathway and then circle around, go through the Norvent, and eventually you're going to come to this area right over here by these walls. If you happen to fail this fight with the Dosmere, you'll respawn right at this obelisk right by it. Now, the Dosmere will not show up right away unless you walk into the center path, and that's going to trigger a scene where it's going to be overlooking you above on a platform. And then your hunt will begin. So just go ahead and make sure to avoid all its attacks. I'm going to more detailed versions, by the way, of every single hunt in this game on another video over here. So if you want to see every single hunt in detail, you can watch that. This video, we're just going to be focusing on the locations of the hunt and what they give you. Now, after you defeat this hunt, you'll get the notification that you slain this hunt and you'll get yourself some XP and all those gold and everything like that. But the main important thing that we're going to care about here is going to be this drop called the Scarlet Type. This is going to be a rare material that we're going to be using to craft the Drake Slayer equipment. Once you're done with this, the merchant will come out. You'll talk to the merchant. He'll give you something and you make your way all the way back to the hideaway and go to Blackthorn in order to complete this quest. And then you'll complete the Blacksmith Blues quest and the reward will be a Drake Slayer's Belt design draft. Now the Drake Slayer's Belt is going to give you 74 defense and 23 health, while the Drake Slayer's Bracelet is going to give you 74 defense and 23 health. Now let's go over the materials you need for each Drake Slayer equipment. Hey, real quick, if you're enjoying this video, just make sure to hit that subscribe button and it helps the channel a lot. Both of them are going to share the common material of a Scarlet Type, and we just got one from our current hunt, but there are also other hunts in the game that do give you Scarlet Type because you're going to need that second one. Now there are three other hunts that give you Scarlet Type in the game. The first one is going to be Fasti Tokalon, which you're going to be able to find in the Dalmalkian Republic. You're going to have to be on main quest number 41, which is Riddle of the Sands. From the Dalamo Inn, go all the way straight through the Velcroy Desert to the top right portion marked on the map over here. Once you reach this corner, this is where you'll be able to find this hunt. And it actually drops two Scarletite, which should be enough to craft both Drake Slayer equipments. The next hunt is called the Ten of Clubs. And to get here, you're going to have to go from the Dravos Obelisk, make your way through the fields of Korava, and then eventually arrive at Van Meer, which is a small little village right over here. When you beat this hunt, it'll give you one Scarletite. The last hunt that's going to give you Scarletite is going to be the Mark, the Man in Black, or the Holy Triumpeter, which is going to be a level 36 hunt. Please be aware that you're going to have to be on main quest number 56, Cloak and Dagger, as well as having the side quest done for Great Justice number two. To get to this one, you pretty much have to go from Lost Wing. You're going to enter a secret passageway, go through that, exit out, walk through a narrow pathway, and then you'll be able to find the Holy Triumpeter. This will give you one Scarlet Type. The other materials that you would need for the Drake Slayer's Belt include Dragon Talons that you can easily get from Avery's when you defeat them. You can easily find Briar Shells in the wild around Martha's Rest Area by the water. So you just have to go around, find any of the glowing objects, and then just go ahead and pick them up. And that's a really fast way that you'll be able to get that. The final material that you're going to need is Electrum 1, which you can get from the Severian Hunt that is going to be after main quest number 37 after the storm to get to this hunt you just have to go to the province of rosaria as in martha's rest and exit out of the west side from there you're just going to go up this pathway and arrive at this fight once you defeat the fight you should get your drop now let's talk about the drake slayer bracelets we already talked about where to get the dragon talons we talked about where to get the briar clamshells 
and you already know where to get your Scarletites. So the only material left is for us to get the gelatinous mass. And we're going to need this from a hunt called Muddy Murder, aka the Flan Prince Hunt. In order to unlock this hunt, you're going to have to be on main quest number 39, which is Bolts from the Blue. To get to the hunting location, you just have to go to the Hawk's Cry Cliff Obelisk in Rosaria and go all the way north from here until you arrive at this quest marker here. This is when the monster will spawn up from the ground because it's not going to be obviously in sight and it's going to be a really fun elemental fight. Once you defeat this, this will drop the gelatinous mass you need and you can go ahead and craft your Drake Slayer's Belt. Now let's move on to the Ouroboros gear. So to get started, Started on our next quest, you're going to have to unlock Blacksmith Blues 3. And in order to do this, you need the prerequisites of completing 1 and 2 for the Blacksmith Blues questline, as well as completing main story quest number 59, which is like father, like daughter, and the sub quest, A Song of Hope. You need to just be on that part. After that, you're just going to go ahead and talk to August, which is going to be in the exact same spot as the first part of this video. August is then going to tell you to go talk to Blackthorn. You're going to make your way to Blackthorn. And after you talk to Blackthorn, you're then going to go ahead and talk to Karen. Karen's going to tell you about a certain village, and then you have to head over to that village. So in order to get to this village, head over to the Dalmakian Republic and go to the Tabor Obelisk. From the Tabor Obelisk, you're going to just exit out via the south entrance and then make your way west all the way until you arrive at the gates. You're then going to enter it and you will be in Dravos. Once you arrive at the gates of Dravos, you'll also unlock the obelisk to come here at any time you need. Once you get here, there is going to be a few objectives that you're just going to have to go back and forth and talk to various people. You're then going to be sent out of these gates to go kill a desert salamander, which is going to be located in the fields of Korava. So exit out the south part of Dravos and head towards the objective on your map. Once you arrive, you'll see the desert salamander and you just have to hop off and go ahead and fight it. This fight is not really too hard. It's a simple enemy with just shields. Just be able to dodge all the fire attacks and you should be able to easily take it down. When you beat this enemy, it's going to drop the salamander skin key item that you need for the quest and the dragon talon, which we talked about was good for the other equipment. After that, you'll return back to Dravos, talk to everyone, then you have to go back to the hideaway. Once you go back to the hideaway, just go ahead and head back to Blackthorn and then you'll get the quest complete. Complete. This will unlock exactly what we need to get started on our Ouroboros equipment, which is going to be the Ouroboros Design Draft. And also you get like 100 Bloody Hide, which is good for your basic crafting, followed by the recipes being unlocked. Now the Ouroboros Belt is going to give you 95 defense and 32 health, and it's going to require a Stone Tongue, Comet Feather, and Orichalcum. And the Sons of Ouroboros Van Braces are going to also require one Orichalcum, Stained Loincloth, and a Morble Flower. Let's talk about all the places you can get yourself Orichalcum. Calcum. The first hunt is going to be Atlas. This is going to be available at main quest number 44 out of the shadow. In order to get to Atlas, you have to go to Rosaria and open up your map and go out of Eastpool. Follow this pathway through the Broken Hilt, go down through Rhiannon's Ride, and then continue all the way down towards the Cressetia area until you reach this wide open area and it's pretty much going to be your dead end. When you arrive there, you'll find Atlas and this is going to be an S rank hunt at level 45. Once you beat Atlas, you'll get yourself one Fallen Iron and one Ori Calcum. This next hunt is called Ruin Reawakened and the hunt is going to be Svarug, which is a level 50 dragon. You'll be able to unlock this after main quest number 52, which is things fall apart. In order to come to this hunt, you have to go to the Holy Empire of Sanbrek and go to the Kaer Norvent Glorious Gate. From this gate, you're going to go all the way to the east and run through and mourn broom. Go down this narrow pathway until you come out into an open area and that's when the hunt will show up. It's going to be a giant dragon and good luck taking this one down because there's so many fire attacks. But once you're able to do that, you'll get yourself one Ori Calcum, one Fallen Enigma, one Amber, and one Empty Shard. But and everything else besides the Ori Calcum can be sold for money. This next hunt is going to be the Tricephalac Terror, aka the Gorgi Mera, which is going to be a level 25 S rank hunt. In order to have this one available, you're going to have to be on main quest number 62 across the narrow. And this unlocks after visiting the infirmary as part of the main objective. In order to get to this hunt, you're going to have to go to the Dalmakian Republic at the Dal 
Dalla Mill in Obelisk. From here, you're going to just have to walk straight out of the town and walk to this area on the map. The Gorgi Mirror will be very obvious when you find it, and it's going to be a very elemental fight with fire, ice, electric, you name it. And once you defeat it, the only item that it's going to give you is one Ori Calcum. So good luck on this level 45 S rank hunt. The final hunt that's going to give you an Ori Calcum is going to be the hunt, the Masterless Marauder. This is going to be the Behemoth King. This will unlock after you are on main quest number 67 back to their origin. And once you complete the side quest, nobody's tool. This hunt is going to be level 47 and an S rank, and you'll be able to find this hunt by going to the Kingdom of Walud, the Vidar Grey's Obelisk. From there, you'll see the Behemoth King right in front of you, and this is going to be a very, very fun fight with a lot of meteor explosions everywhere. If you happen to die during this fight, don't worry, you'll respawn right by that obelisk and you can go ahead and fight it again. When you defeat the Behemoth King, you'll be getting yourself a Behemoth Shackle and one Ori Calcum, and that's gonna conclude all the hunts that you can get Ori Calcum from. Since we already covered Ori Calcum, let's talk about the other two materials that you're going to need for the Ouroboros Belt. The first one is going to be the Stone Tongue. This is dropped by the hunt called Agni. This next hunt is going to be Agni, which is Agni is a rank A hunt. And in order to unlock this hunt, you're going to have to be on main quest number 65, which is Brotherhood. To find this hunt, all you have to do is go to the Kingdom of Walud and go to the obelisk called the Edge of Infinity. From here, you're going to work your way all the way north until you reach this area right over here. When you appear there, the hunt will begin. And this kind of fight is going to seem very familiar to you as you fought a similar monster to this before. Once you beat it, you'll be getting yourself a Stone Tongue, which is its only drop. And that's the purpose of taking out this hunt. The next hunt is a rank A hunt called the Dread Comet. To have this unlocked, you're going to need main quest number 58 active, which is called a Song of Hope. Now, this is actually one of my favorite hunts. And to get here, you have to go to the Dalmechian Republic. You can go to the obelisk at Dravos and make your way through the fields of Korava all the way until this point over here. When you approach this area, you'll find yourself the rank A hunt. And you'll notice it's probably one of the best colorful chocobos you've ever seen. This hunt is full of just meteors falling from the sky. So you're going to have a lot of fun taking out this one. When you beat this chocobo, you're going to get yourself the Comet Feather, and that'll be all the materials you need to complete the Ouroboros Belt. Now let's move on to the next equipment you need. The remainder materials for the Ouroboros Van Braces are going to be one stained loincloth, which you can get from the hunt Pandemonium. Now Pandemonium is only going to be unlocked via main quest number 63, Footfalls in Ash. And in order to get to this hunt, in order to get to this hunt, you have to go to the Kingdom of Walud. From there, you go to the Shadow Coast Obelisk and make your way up all the way through this entire pathway and turn left into Wolfdar. Once you're into that area, go all the way to the back towards the dead end, and that's where you'll be able to fight Pandemonium, who's a really fun fight because it can teleport and shoot beams at you. It's overall a very interesting fight. And once you defeat him, you'll be able to get your stained loincloth. You are also going to need one Morble Flower, which is going to be dropped by a hunt called Carrot. This will unlock during main quest 59, like father, like daughter, during a sub quest of a Song of Hope. And by unlock, that means you have to go towards a side quest called Please Sir, Can I Have Some Morble? In order to get to Carrot, you're going to have to go to Rosaria and go to the Three Reeds Obelisk. From here, you're just going to pretty much follow the map this way and enter into the Whispering Waters. You won't see the Morble right away until you walk in the center, and that's when the cutscene will trigger and the giant Morble named Carrot will show up. This is a really simple fight, and like the Morble fight you did at the beginning of the game. Once you defeat this one, you'll be getting your Morble Flower. This next item that you are going to be getting is called the Founder's Grasp, and it has 50 HP and 94 defense as a to the Sons of Ouroboros, which we just got Van Braces, that's 97 and 32. So you can decide which one you consider to be the best one in the game. But for sure, the Founder's Grasp has the highest HP, while the Sons of Ouroboros has the highest defense. In order to unlock this quest, you're going to be at the point of the game where you have the main quest 67 back to their origin available. In order to start this quest, you're going to have to talk to Joshua. And the quest is called Where There's a Will. After you talk to Joshua and accept the quest, you're then going to have to talk to Cyril. And then you're going to go to the Taber Obelisk in the Dalmachian Republic area. Once you get in there, walk into the house, and this is where you'll talk to him. He's going to explain something about a specific letter, which I'm not going to spoil. After this, you're going to talk to another character in the exact same town who is an older lady, and this lady is going to tell you that you're going to have to go and hunt a specific creature. From here, you're going to have to go slay a griffin by the name of Simurg that is going to exist in this area marked on your map. 
Once you arrive at the Titan's Wake area where it's waiting for you, you'll see it and it's going to be a level 40 kill. This is basically like your typical griffin hunts in the game. You just have to be aware of its dangerous attack called Witch's Ladder, which is going to shoot out a giant hurricane that if you get stuck in, will do a lot of damage to your HP and throw you around the area. Besides that, just do your regular damage, dodge its charge attacks, and after you defeat it, you're going to be getting about 600 experience and the drops from this is going to be Wyrite and Sharp Fang and a heartstone that you have to return back to the lady. From here, you're going to return back to Tabor and talk to her, and then she's going to be giving you the Founder's Grasp, which you'll be able to equip right after. The quest isn't over after this, but this is exactly how you get this, and you should probably play out the rest of the quest and enjoy it yourself. If you enjoyed this video, you're going to want to know how to do this. Seriously, click on it.